If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glycinerel. It is spoiler season, still, and I found some interesting cards that I thought I should uh, let you know about. One of which I think is so powerful, it could start its own archetype. I'm actually pretty sure that it will. And it is Aether Squall Ancient. Now if you haven't seen this card before, what we care about, yes it generates three energy counters for you on every upkeep, that's nice. And when you get eight energy counters, you can use all of them and return all other creatures at sorcery speed to their owner's hands. Now this is kind of insane, actually, when you think about it, for just a minute, right? So, on its own, that means that every two or three turns, depending on how many energy counters you have, uh, you can just bounce every other creature. That's fine on its own. But we're not using it on its own, right? If we have other creatures that we can bounce that generate energy counters when they enter the battlefield or when they're cast, well then we can do this every single turn. And because Aether Squall Ancient is a flyer and is a 6-6, six -six, it's a decent clock, well because it's a flyer it can't even be blocked by landfolk, not the ones that are in the format right now. None of them have reach or flying. Yeah, this could be an archetype. So, just from what's been spoiled so far, just from this, we have Thriving Turtle, I keep wanting to say Tortoise, Thriving Turtle, the Dirtle Turtle, just one mana generates two energy counters when it enters the battlefield, and it being a 0-3 means that it blocks enough that it's actually playable. With something like Sky Whaler Shot, that gets rid of everything else. Uh, if it's power 3 or greater, Sky Whaler Shot, or some other cards we could run in the deck like Immolating Glare or Gideon's Reproach if we're going uh, white for those. Uh, otherwise it's just 3 toughness, a decent blocker. And that's another thing, by the way. Uh, you could go mono blue, you could go blue white. I'm going to try blue white first. It's hard to turn down Reflector Mage and control elements like those aforementioned uh, spells that I mentioned a moment ago just to stall the game for long enough to get this lock. Next, there's... Oh, what's it? I'm going to have to look at my notes. I thought I had this without having to look. Electrostatic Pummeler, which is a 3-mana, generates 3 energy counters. Now, otherwise, this card is pretty bad. Like, on its own, it's pretty bad. There are ways to make the card actually really good, such as, for example, the green Gear Hulk putting counters on it to double its power and toughness when you use its uh, energy counter energy counters. It uses three for one use of its ability. Eww. But otherwise, like in this kind of shell, that's actually pretty sick. So if we have one Thriving Turtle and one Electrostatic Pummeler, it's four mana, and we can loop this any number of times. We can bounce, we can crush of tentacles, not really crush of tentacles, we're only hitting creatures. We can Whelming Wave. <laughs> that's a better, because we're not returning the, uh, the Leviathan either. <laughs> every single turn. This isn't broken because we're talking you have to get to seven mana first and you have to get the setup where you have the creatures, uh, you know, so you need three turtles or one turtle and a pummeler or two pummelers uh, at the very least. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot to have to get but once you get it there you have sort of a prison deck now, don't you? And I think that this could actually be an archetype for the entire time that it's in standard. I really do. Well, for whatever it's worth. Obviously, still dies to <laughs> murder. Still dies to Doomblade. Still dies to a lot, but it doesn't die to damage base removal. Or it, if it does, it takes an awful lot of that. Uh, and since burn is a thing in the format and looks to be one uh, going forward, it doesn't die to Chandra's Flame Slash. You know, that sort of thing. It, it's big enough that it gets out. Uh, make people run plummet, make them run clip wings. And that's the deck right now. Uh, that's the shell anyway, those cards. Uh, if you want to make it blue-white, as I intend to do, then you can run uh, Reflector Mage, Thraven Inspector, uh, the kill spells I mentioned earlier. If you want to make it mono-blue, uh, you can run Engulf the Shore, just run a bunch of islands and make that work, make it worth it. 
Uh, you can also run the... Uh, I've been experimenting the module cycle, where when you get all three modules, you just go crazy uh, with a bunch of one ones and they have a bunch of counters and you have so many energy counters you don't know what to do with. A uh, decoction module, the one that makes energy counters when a creature enters the battlefield, it only makes one. It may not be enough on its own for inclusion in the deck or certainly not too many. Um, but if you're already incentivized to run decoction, you could just take it a step further and run the whole module cycle. Oh, this looks sick. All right, so, well, that's it. That's it for that. Uh, some other spoilers. Uh, that came out today. Minor one that doesn't matter to most people, but to me, because I've been on a land destruction kick for a while. Uh, Demolish is getting reprinted. And so if you're like me and you think land destruction is pretty sick, you want Demolish, not say a volcanic upheaval, because artifacts are everywhere now. And I mean everywhere. So Demolish hits artifacts and land, Structural Distortion, Exiles, uh, artifacts and lands, Reclaiming Vines, hits artifacts and lands, that just leaves Crumble to Dust and Volcanic Upheaval. And if we had to choose between those, now that Pyromancer's Goggles is not a card, or it's about to not be a card in Standard, we take Crumble to Dust. Easy enough, right? And with that, land destruction can once again be a thing. You know, you don't have Pyromancer's Goggles, you don't have, say, a Volcanic Vision, so it's hard for me to want to make it just mono red, but you can make it red green and go for some Eldrazi build with Kozlex Return and World Breaker. Um, that sort of thing, easy enough. And then lastly, uh, for the spoiler season, we have uh, Meandering Tower Shell because it's so late it missed its own spoiler season. Again! Good grief, dude, come on. All right, that's it. I'm just having fun. I will see you later, Magic Community. Take care. Bye-bye.